So here we go, Dimitri Van der Berg to get us underway here in Townsville. Yeah, Townsville, the place that brought us Tony David, the former world champion from Australia. Well, some pedigree, and now he's got a tournament to match, and Dimitri Van der Berg kicks it off with a maximum. He got to the venue a good four and a half hours ago, Dimitri Vandenberg. He, he has a routine, a little bit OCD, but a lot of darts players are. Puts his earbuds in, listens to music, set amount of time throwing and practicing, then he sits down, then he's up again. Whatever works. Well, there's no denying that Dimitri Vandenberg's been one of the best players on the planet this year but he's only a late call-up of course to the world series field for the next few weeks in the australian new zealand leg 58. replacing peter rice of course who is recovering now after having surgery so best wishes to him but even if snake bite were here with his multicolored mohican One and things stenciled across the side of his head he would be given a tough run for his money in terms of maddest haircut here tonight, because not only is Kohar Kokiri in action, 58. and that is a beaut, but wait till you see Bailey Marsh. Oh, ho, ho. it is a cut and shut hairdo for the ages. One. Bailey Marsh to come against Michael Van Gerwen a, a little later on. He's got back in this leg beautifully, hasn't he, Kokiri? 116. Oh, Van der Berg started with a 118. Oh, 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 stunning, oh, stunning oh, start to the World so Series oh, here oh, in oh, Australia. Oh, All smiles. Oh, wow. Yep. Thank you. That's why he's here. That's why he's the top seed. That's why he's won the last two World Series events. 16. Well, amazing from Dimitri. The smile said it all. And here he goes again. Una, little girl. Second leg here. First to six to go through to the quarterfinals. But just a short walk from here, the wow, Queensland wow, Country wow. Bank Stadium is lit up tonight in tribute to Paul Green, uh, the hugely popular coach who was tragically found dead on Thursday in his home in Brisbane, aged just 49. But Townsville was his life for so many years in the world of rugby league. And in 2015, Green was coach of the North Queensland Cowboys and led his team to glory in one of the most dramatic grand finals ever as they won the trophy for the first time in the club's history. Well, the city of Townsville, the whole of Australia, and indeed the sporting world, stunned by his passing, and we send all our sympathies to the Green family. 96. Which will you require 156? Well, 164. Why not a 156? Why not? Why not? Why not, Dimitri? Yeah, we're as disappointed as him, as you. Vandenberg looking very, very good in the early stages. And don't forget, in that opening leg, you know, after hitting the 180, not a lot in between. Kahiri was, was on a possible finish, wasn't he? 116. Double 18 is one that he goes to very, very regularly Dominate and with a great deal of first. success. Game on. That is a 13 dart leg from Dimitri Vandenberg. The average is at 107 right now. And Kohar Kikiri, who's played in five of these events and lost in the opening game every single time, he has given a decent account of himself yeah, a couple yeah. of times. But he must be fearing the worst right now. Uh, beaten by Chisnell Wade and Gurney a couple of times. Oh, yeah. 
real character, Kawaka Kiri. The day job, would you believe? Wow. Little known fact, little known claim to fame, that he is one of the top professional sheep shearers in the country. Is it, how do you know he's one of the top ones? Is there a ranking? I think there is. There are competitions okay. as well. I'm not sure what his world ranking is. Perhaps right. we should ask him. Well, Dimitri underlining why he is the top seed here. And he just looks to be, from the very first leg, he looks to be treating this as, as a bit of fun. It's not the uber-serious Dimitri we're seeing in action. He's just enjoying himself. Yeah, absolutely. we say a couple of weeks' notice to, to get everything organised. And he wants to entertain. He wants to be the showman. Gets down to a finish, but it might be academic. Double 16, decent guide. Can you you bet it is. is. Dimitri and the man for first couple from first. Came on. Winner to play Joe Cullen or the Australian Dave Marland who are coming up next in the quarterfinals. Just to let you know the format on Saturday night here wow. in Townsville. Quarterfinals, the same as this, best of 11, first to six. Semi-finals, best of 13, and then the final, best of 15. 91. Of course, all roads leading to Amsterdam in the Netherlands in September for the World Series Finals. 53. Yeah, Dimitri in pole position to be top seed for that, and... Oh. In a week and a half's time, it might be sewn up. He might be unable to dislodge at the top spot. 16. Winner of this one will face either Joe Cullen or Dave Marlon. Those two on the way in our next game. Uh, World Series debut for Joe Cullen, of course, in these World Series events, that is. Played World Series finals before. 45. Well, he's yet to have a dart at double in this one, Kikiri. Being outgunned wow. by Dimitri wow. Vandenberg, and that is continuing. I mean, the standard in the DPA, the Darts Players Australia circuit, is is good. It's getting better, but it is a level below, maybe a couple of levels below what we're used to to seeing in the in the top echelons of the PDC. One. Well, we've seen good players produced from this part of the yeah. world, and, and we've got a number of tour card holders, of course. Oh, the Damon Hatter story, one of the great stories of recent years in darts, and of course the, the Aussie World Cup heroes. <laughs> on, the, on the big stage here later on, Hatter and Simon Whitlock. Well, this is going to be the first leg of the match that goes into a sixth visit to the board, but Kikiri's still needing a massive combo finish to get it done. And that's not going to happen. Could well be 20 for double 18 here. It is going to that double 18 he likes. Great marker. But does not use it. Chance for Kakiri. First chance to throw at a double in this match. Crowd getting behind Koha Kakiri. Beauty. So that. Two and seven. Vandenberg will feel he should have been third a lap. Yeah, well done. Game on. Deserved the leg, Kakiri. Won the Oceanic Masters a few years ago. Kohaka Kiri. Big event here in Australia because it earns the winner a place at the World Championship at the Alexandra Palace. 
One minute, 30 seconds. And went to Ali Pali, who was beaten in straight sets by Steve Beaton. I wondered how long it would be before you mentioned the great man's name. It's taken four and a half legs. If you didn't know, my esteemed colleague here is chairman, president, CEO, secretary of the Steve Beaton Appreciation Society. And all are welcome, Stuart. For a very, very modest annual fee. A good response here from Kakiri. He's just having a think. He might start getting creative to make sure he leaves a finish. And he's missed the 20. He could have then gone to the bullseye and make sure that even without hitting a big treble that he's got down to a finish. It hasn't gone well, but you could see the cogs turning. Ninety-six. Dimitri leaving the one-six-four again. Well, yeah, a real chance of a break of throw here, and all of a sudden, a game that looked like a real stroll Dimitri for Dimitri Van den Berg might get a little bit sticky. The so one-six-four is a trick he won't repeat. 28. Oh, you require 18. The wheels are coming off a bit here for Dimitri. Concentration, I think, lapsed in concentration. Yeah. Again, 64 in two darts, 89 in two darts, and six men come on and throw first. Different game now. Game on. Kakiri beat Australia's James Bailey in the qualifying tournament that took place in Wollongong. It will be next weekend. And he's qualified for Wollongong as well, so he'll yeah. be there. Not everybody you'll well, see in the Oceanic qualifiers, if you like, will be in every event for the next three weeks. Some of them only getting the one shot this weekend. Look, Kohar's got a, a couple of stabs at the 77. TDC stars. And he's really making a game of this. Very laid back throw, isn't it? One. not be enough but don't forget you're right in what you're saying I mean, van der Berg was racing away with it 57. two missed darts for 4-0 and a double break of throw and that would surely have been that but not now well, three legs in when he's averaging 106 55. two and a half legs later and his average has tumbled by 17 points He admits himself he has these lapses in concentration. One well, all is not lost in this leg. Because he's down to a two darter. Dimitri may only get the one dart at double here. Well, this for Dimitri's safety net once more. OK, well, he's hit the double and leaves double eight. He was trying to leave the double 18, but no arm done. As long as you hit it. Oh, you require 85. Took out 64 in two darts, 89 in two darts. I think that might have been in the, in the treble two. Unlucky. 
69. Well, it is unlucky. Will he be made to pay? He will on double two. Is that a turning point in this game? Just when Kakiri thought he might level it up. And a little grin from Dimitri. He knows he's got away with one there. And if Kakiri could manage to win this game, he'd end up doing something that not many players have managed to do this year, and that's to beat Dimitri Vandenberg on the telly. Because he's only lost three times all year on big TV stages, and he's won 15 on Hatchet. scare just jolted him into action a bit yeah, he, he, as I say just laps of concentration and then it's the ease of which he oh, he finds that a higher gear once more but he's a player of such excellence that if he's going to play mediocre stuff he's not going to play mediocre <laughs> stuff for long you fancy and maybe that little mid-game nap is over and Dimitri's going to get back down to business Yeah, decent performance this from Kakiri, but you feel missed the trick in, in leg six. Ninety-six. Which will you require one hundred and six? That's the treble he wanted. That's the single. Ninety. But he's not particularly close to the double. Oh, it's a double chance shot here for Kakiri. It's two darts at treble 19. Only one of them has to find the mark to get a dart at ball. The ball it is to hit back in spectacular fashion. 79. For a moment, I thought he just and carried on throwing at that treble 19. It was not close. And he may not be close at the end of this visit. Because the gap is now three legs and Dimitri Vandenberg is on the brink of victory. Eight leg come out of throat first. Game on. Yeah, Dimitri looking very chilled. One man out, Fulton. Have another good run at the world match play, of course. Losing a, an epic semi final. One man One on. Game snooze. Looking to wrap it up here and now. Sixteen. One man out. Thirty-seven. Multiple match darts incoming for Dimitri Vandenberg, as the top player from Belgium looks to become the first man through to the quarterfinals here in Queensland. A parting gift for Kakiri. Well, 177 would have stood him in, in better stead, but he wanted the maximum. And he got it. Dimitri Vandenberg gets the winning Dimitri dart. Vandenberg. In the end, Dimitri was too good. Kakiri. To be fair, gave it a real go, but Dimitri Vandenberg, who won the last two World Series events in Copenhagen, 
and in Amsterdam. He's on his way here in Chattonsville. Ratner Bird wins the opener at the Queensland Dance Masters by six legs to two.